latest developments on an ongoing murder trial in Providence. Prosecutors say Luis Gonzalez orchestrated a shooting at a graduation party last year that killed a 12-year-old girl and injured three other women. Four others charged in the case have pled guilty today. One of those men is testifying against Gonzalez. Eyewitness News reporter Sean Daly joining us now live from the courthouse. He is live with the Providence Global News. Sean. Patrick, a convicted murderer has been on the witness stand all morning here at Superior Court in Providence, testifying for the prosecution against a fellow member of his own gang. Yes, sir, yeah. 23-year-old Luis Fatboy Gonzalez is one of five gang members accused of unconscionable crimes. Shooting and killing a young girl in Providence, 12-year-old Inez Vargas, and shooting and injuring three grown women. The other four gang members have all pleaded guilty. All four victims were at a party last June in the Hartford Park housing development, home to the Hartford Soldiers. When prosecutors say five members of a rival gang, the Harriet Street Gang, showed up bent on revenge for a broken car window. As if that weren't insignificant enough, prosecutors say the Harriet Street Gang didn't even attack their intended targets. Crime doesn't get much more senseless. Today, the only one of the five members of the Harriet Street Gang who chose to go on trial sat quietly as one of his four fellow gang members who pleaded guilty testified for the prosecution. Ricardo Vasquez testified that at first he lied about where he was the night of the murder. What did you tell him? I told him that I was home all night and my car got stolen out of my driveway. Did you tell him that you had any involvement in the events of Hartford Park? No. So it was a lie? Yes. Ricardo Vasquez eventually admitted that he told the police he was driving the car that was involved in the shooting. We're here, we're on it, this trial will be all day, and we'll have the very latest starting on Eyewitness News Live at 5. Live at Superior Court with the Providence Mobile Newsroom, Sean Daly, Eyewitness News.